Welcome to the Emerald Guitar shipping video and uh, this is a, a great time every week where we get an opportunity to have a look at all the guitars that we built the week before and uh, where they're going to around the world. Uh, this week it's almost a clean sweep for USA with one going to England as well. Um, we have a nice selection of X7s here. Uh, X7 with high vibe which is a really good combination for the, the X7. We have an X10 slimline and a Virtuo. Uh, we have an X10. We have a couple of uh, really nice X20s there. A really nice pair of guitars going out to Randy in, uh, in Virginia, an Amicus and an X20, both matching. A uh, beautiful big jumbo X30 with a really nice Irish kind of uh, Celtic theme going on there on that one. And uh, a pair of our custom Fireburst. And uh, we'll tell you about the Fireburst when we get there. So, uh, so let's jump in. And the uh, first one's going all the way to Alaska. Um, so I bet it's cold out there this time of year and this is a, this is a guitar that is, uh, is perfect for that kind of an extreme environment. Um, all the guitars are made from carbon fibre so if you just happen to come across some of our content, don't know what Emerald Guitars is all about, we build carbon fibre guitars. And, uh, and you're going to see a lot of the, the places we ship them to, around, to them, uh, ship them to around the world tend to be uh, maybe with more extreme temperatures, you know, like Alaska. And um, uh, the reason a lot of people love our carbon guitars is, well, they, they sound good, they look good, but also they really uh, endure temperature and humidity changes really well. So, uh, so no matter where you take them around the world, they, they just they can really hold up really well. So this is an X7. This is our smaller body uh, parlor size guitar, which um, is, uh, is a great guitar in, in many aspects but really nice compact proportions, which makes it really uh, a guitar of choice for a lot of people that are traveling. And um, this one has a 24 inch scale, so it's a little bit shorter scale length, uh, which makes for really nice, easy playability. And, uh, and this one, as you can see, is finished in a beautiful purple, uh, purple over black carbon. And it's got the high vibe pickup system. Really great pickup system because it uh, creates a lot of, um, amplified sounds directly out of the guitar uh, and modulates the acoustic performance of the guitar. So uh, really cool, without even having an amp plugged in, you can get reverb, chorus, delay, various different effects. And uh, so really, really neat pickup system. But go and have a look maybe at some of the, the other videos that we've created explaining the high vibe pickup system. So that's uh, Denise in Alaska. Then we've got John in Cheshire in England. Uh, very, very similar but this one is the Vibrant Weave Purple. So, uh, so this is a, 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 um, a composite material that has a silver on the surface, and then we put, uh, we put the purple over the top. So it's just that little bit brighter and, uh, and gives a different look. Um, it's got the white dots on the inlays, again with a high vibe pickup system, and that Vibrant Purple back and sides. So, uh, so that's a good uh, way to see the difference between the two purples. Then we've got David in Florida. So uh, a bit milder out in Florida at this time of year. Nice uh, nice Florida sunshine, no doubt. Um, so another X7, this one is done with Coco Bolo and uh, a beautiful piece of uh, veneer here. So it's got that really nice V of the, the, the light colored wood there in the center. And then the darker browns and, and golden, almost red brown uh, off to the side. Really nice colors in Coco Bolo. And, uh, and it's got a red carbon back and sides. Goes very nicely together. Then Peter in the Virgin Islands. And uh, Peter's gone for an X10 slim line. So as you can see, a nice slim body. And uh, this one has uh, the um, redwood burl top. And uh, really nice uh, details in this redwood burl. It's, uh, it's got the nice burls here. It's almost like a, like a marbling off to the sides and, uh, and a nice boulder pattern running up through the center and uh, really frames it very nicely. So uh, the pickup system in this one is uh, the six Graftech piezos, height adjustable and intonatable piezo saddles. It's got the Crevo humbucker here mounted and, uh, and also you've got MIDI connectivity as well. Uh, three volume controls and uh, switching in between the, the different necks here so uh, so it just gives an awful lot of control and uh, and really really works well um, the back and sides is finished in black carbon just a natural black carbon and uh, overall that's a, a very nice looking instrument 
Then we've got John in California. So uh, I'm going on a nice sunshine tour there. Florida, Virgin Islands, California. Kind of making me jealous. Um, so this is a virtual finish in black carbon. And uh, I actually really like the specification of this. Uh, natural black carbon, the black hardware, and then the silver Celtic knots. And uh, the silver with the black um, just really blends in very, very nicely. Black carbon back and sides as well. And uh, you see the black Goto 510 tuners. Then we've got Alex in Virginia. And uh, Alex has gone for an X10. And uh, that's our, our more, uh, I guess it's very similar in size to the X7, uh, but it just with a longer scale length and uh, has a slimmer neck as well. So uh, really nice, slim, more electric feeling neck. And uh, this one's finished in amber over black carbon. And, uh, and this one's pure acoustic, no pickup in it. And, uh, and that's the one thing that I often say is that uh, with our 3D builder, um, you get to choose. You don't have to have a pickup as standard. Uh, the pickup um, is put in afterwards, so uh, so we can build it. And you can you can build it without a pickup if you don't need it. Uh, John in Colorado, uh, very similar guitar. So uh, this is the X20, and uh, that's a similar color, the amber finish, and uh, an amber back and sides, and the black hardware. And this one's got the LR Bags Element pickup system in there. Then we're going back to Florida, back to the sunshine uh, for Daniel. And, uh, and Daniel has gone for an X20. And, uh, and this is a, a new color. And you're gonna see it on the Fireburst. This is Phoenix Orange. And uh, it's really, really beautiful color. Has that nice kind of balance between the reds and, uh, and the ambers. And uh, so it's a, it's a unique color that we're going to be offering. We should be adding it onto the 3D Builder actually quite soon. Um, but uh, but really really like the tones in that. Um, so an X20 with uh, Eller Bags Element and uh, and Phoenix Orange. Now this is a really nice combination, and uh, we'll look at the two of these together. So it's not the first time we've done it, but. Uh, I love when, when somebody uh, has the foresight to, to get a pair of guitars, a nice matching pair. And, uh, and Randy has gone for Pommel Boss uh, with a vintage amber burst and, uh, and black carbon back and sides. So an Amicus and an X20. And, uh, and I think the two of them side by side just look wonderful. So uh, two very, very nice guitars. We'll just look at the Amicus by itself. So the Amicus is our short scale 12 string guitar. Uh, it's an 18 inch scale, uh, done with unison pairs of strings, and uh, it's tuned up to D. So um, it's uh, basically the same tuning as if you had a capo on your 10th fret, and uh, gives you that sort of higher frequency, uh, kind of mandolin, kind of sound, but really nice with a big full sound. Very rich, very loud instrument for its size, and uh, really adds something really nice to uh, the overall sound spectrum for a guitar player. And the X20, that same specification. Isn't that beautiful? And I just love the Pommel Boss. It's, uh, it's kind of similar in a lot of ways to our Quilted Maple, but just has a very unique characteristic. Um, really nice quilting in it, a lot of movement, and, uh, and just catches the light beautifully. Then Michael in Virginia. Another guitar going to Virginia. Uh, this is an X30. This is our big jumbo guitar. And uh, that big jumbo body, finished in green carbon. And has the, uh, the gold vine inlay run up the fretboard. And the gold hardware. It's that green and gold combination. Just really works beautifully. Uh, green carbon back and sides. And you see that big contoured body. So it's our big jumbo. Has a huge sound. Real full, rich bass sound. And... Uh, but, you, but with all the contours, just really comfortable to play. Now, so the Fireburst. So we've got two Firebursts going out this week. I think we had maybe three went out there last week. And uh, nice to be finally putting them out here. Um, so the first one's going out to Dave in Oregon. And, uh, and if you don't know the origins of the uh, Fireburst, uh, Fireburst was, was done to commemorate the 10th anniversary of our X20 model. 
And uh, the inlay we've got here, the inlay design is uh, ohm writing uh, that says emerald. And uh, the little symbol here in the 12th fret. And it's just a, it's a beautiful color combination that we created just for this commemoration model. Uh, see the fireburst uh, on the top and that phoenix orange on the back and sides. Now all these veneers that I chose them uh, personally by hand was the finest quilted maple that we had in our stock and uh, you can just see how it comes to life. So uh, whenever we talk about fire burst, that definitely looks like flames. Um, just catches the light really, really beautifully. And then the last one I have here is going to Tom in Colorado. And uh, as you'll see, each one's unique. You know, so each piece of veneer is, is unique. It's got its own characteristic. Uh, I hand do all the inlays myself. So every one of those uh, are unique and slightly different. And uh, I wanted to really give it that ancient hand, uh, hand crafted kind of look. So um, yeah, the, the same way as Owen would have been chiseled out of a rock many years ago. So, uh, so that's it, two fire bursts. And, uh, and that's the collection for this week. Uh, now we're gonna have a look at the, uh, the, cost, uh, the stock guitars that have already shipped out. Uh, we're gonna have a look at them on the screen. So what we've got here is a selection of guitars that have already sold from our stock section and, uh, and shipped out already around the world. Um, but we like to give them a little shout out as well. So the first one is uh, Eric in Sweden and uh, an X10 uh, with our amber finish. Uh, next one is going to Hong Kong and it's going to Brian and uh, it's a Virtuo with the Vibrant Weave and the Amber and the Gold Hardware there. Then we've got Roy in Massachusetts, an X7, finishing Koa, and, uh, and that's got uh, that nice Amber back and sides and the, uh, the Vine and Lace, the Gold Hardware. Then Jack in Georgia, uh, Namicus with the Harborica Veneer, uh, finishing Red. Then we've got George in Scotland, and uh, George has an X10 slimline, and, uh, and this one is finished in the amber uh, finish with our carbon, and uh, it's got the Crevo and the, the six adjustable piezos there. Then Frank in Maryland, uh, Synergy Uke. So this is a harp ukulele, tenor ukulele, uh, with four extra harp strings on it, and that's finished in red. Then Josh in California, an X2012 string, Finished in green Harborica, and a really nice look on that. Um, Mark in Georgia, uh, it's a Solace. This is our, our lap steel guitar, the uh, Weisenborn style, and um, a beautiful blue quilted maple there, really nice there. Uh, David in Nebraska, an X20, finished in a black carbon fiber. And we've got Jeff in Florida, uh, Virtual, finished in red carbon fiber. And then the last one we have is going out to Mark in California and, uh, and that's got a candy stripe paduk top on a virtual. So, uh, so that's it for this week. Uh, another really nice selection of guitars going out all around the world. Uh, now just a few days to go before we, uh, we take our Christmas break. So uh, we'll be getting our last shipping video ready for you hopefully next week. And um, so uh, yeah, wherever you are around the world, hopefully you're staying warm. It's been uh, minus 10 uh, Celsius here over the last few days. So really, really cold, uh, colder than we've had here in the last 10 years. So uh, we're all trying to keep warm. So tell us where you are uh, around the world. Always nice to see in comments. I know a lot of you guys are probably here in the Florida and California and Virgin Islands and nice, you know, beautiful, warm places like that or cold like Alaska. So, uh, so yeah, send us a message, tell us where you are, and I uh, hope you're having a great day. See you next week.